Tony Gaffney, der eigentlich nur für den Dunking-Wettbewerb des All-Star Days 2012 nominiert war, sollte heute zusätzlich seinen Teamkollegen Chris Enzminger im All-Star-Game vertreten. Dieser musste wegen eines grippalen Infektes das Bett hüten. Tony hatte deshalb am Tag zuvor über Facebook angekündigt, ihm zu Ehren einen Hakenwurf im Spiel zu verwandeln. Dieser sogenannte Skyhook ist nämlich die Spezialität des Bonner Centers. Doch erst einmal galt es, die Fans mit Autogrammen zu versorgen. What's up everybody? I'm out here for the Beko BBL 2012 All-Star Weekend. I'm here with some great players right now. As you can see, sitting across from me, John Bryant. Um, just getting ready to sign some autographs for the fans. And in a few hours, the, All uh, the dunk contest is going to start. Hopefully, I'll bring back a trophy back to Bond for you guys. Um, and in the All-Star Game, I'm Chris Ensminger's alternate because he unfortunately got sick with the flu and uh, I'm out here, I'm going to try to represent him and the team a little bit and uh, I got a few things in my, up my sleeve that he asked if I would do to represent him uh, that I'm going to try to do during the game. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I will. Spaß wie immer hatte auch Bonnie. Während das Maskottchen der Telekom Baskets mit seiner gewohnten Rücken Nummer 1 auflief, trug Tony Gaffney an diesem Tag nicht wie sonst die 13 sondern die Nummer 33 auf dem Jersey. It's a little weird signing number 33 instead of 13, but I'll make an exception today. Eineinhalb Stunden am Stück Autogramme geben. Ist das nicht anstrengend? No, this never gets old. I mean, there's gonna come a time where no one's gonna want my autograph, so you gotta kind of take advantage of it while fans still do. It's been fun. Dass ihm die Nähe zu den Fans wirklich gefiel, sah man daran, dass Toni die Autogrammstunde als letzter verließ. Let's go. I'll see you all at the um 18.30 Uhr ging es dann für unseren 2,6 Meter großen Power Forward richtig zur Sache. Der Slam Dunk Contest begann. Hier noch einmal fast alle gelungenen Versuche der Dunking Könige zum Genießen.
I had a blast, man. It was a lot of fun. He can dunk, though. I can't do some of that stuff, so. Oh, that was, was impressive. I can't do that stuff. Nur äußerst knapp hatte Toni den ersten Platz verpasst. Der deutsche Nationalspieler Heiko Schafazik hatte ihn bei den beiden spektakulärsten Danks als Assistgeber gedient. Toni lässt uns wissen, warum Bonnie oder Baskets TV dafür nicht in Frage kamen. Uh, I mean, I knew I wasn't gonna have any teammates out here that could help me, and I, I know Richie's been working on his passing, but I was. I was preferring Heiko a little bit over Richie, and that's no offense to Richie because he's got a little bit of game. But uh, no, I talked. To, uh, you know, I, I think his assist turnover ratio is way too high. <laughs> yeah, he would have come through though. I have a feeling. <laughs> um, but uh, no, you know, having played with Heiko last season for for the better part of five months, uh, we developed a good, real good relationship. And uh, I talked to him a few days ago about you know helping me out, and he said, yeah, he'd be more than happy to. And I said, all right, well, if we win it, then we'll share the trophy. I'm going to cut it right down the middle. You have half, I'll have half. But unfortunately, uh, uh, what's his name? Salou uh, had some pretty crazy dunks that I can't do. So I went with creativity, and I thought I was pretty creative you know, for the most part. And uh, it was a good time. It was all in good fun. Auch beim anschließenden All-Star-Game ging es für den 27-jährigen US-Amerikaner hauptsächlich um den Spaß. Vor allem auch deshalb, weil dieses Spiel weniger von Wettkampf geprägt ist, als es sonst Woche für Woche in der Liga der Fall ist. Uh, it's been a great experience uh, being around these group of guys, this group of guys uh, in a less competitive environment than we are in. We're, we're in uh, week in and week out playing against one another. It was a uh, Just a cool experience to be a part of. Die Auswahl der deutschen Allstars kam gut aus den Startlöchern, schien von Beginn an eingespielter zu sein und hatte sich schnell einen 15-Punkte-Vorsprung herausgespielt. Bis in den Schlussabschnitt hinein dominierten sie das Spiel. Das Team International brauchte eine ganze Weile, um sich zu finden. Yeah, I think we they came out the gates ready to play and we kind of coached it into it a little bit. Kind of took it like an all-star game and they wanted to they wanted to beat us and for three quarters they did and uh, you know, luckily we made enough shots down the end. We're all, you know, top tier players on team, so we know what each which player's strengths are. Um, so it, it was You know, it took us a few quarters to kind of learn to play with one another. But I think once we started getting stops and we're able to get out in transition, that's what we showed that that uh, from the uh, international team's standpoint, that was our strong point. And uh, you know, I think we learned we through through three quarters we learned how to play together, and then the fourth it was uh, it was clear on the score. 13 minutes. Das war die Einsatzzeit, die der Power Forward der Telekom Baskets Bonn von Coach Fleming insgesamt bekam. In dieser relativ kurzen Zeit sammelte er sechs Rebounds, gab einen Assist, hier der Bodenpass auf Markus Slaughter, und erzielte vier Punkte. Diese beiden Körbe waren es dann auch, die für das Publikum zu den Highlights des Spieles zählten. Im Telekom Dome ist es meist Jared Jordan, der, wie er selber sagt, den Spalding einfach Richtung Korb über Ringhöhe schmeißt und Tony Gaffney den Rest machen muss. Hier beim All-Star-Game wurde Tony von Asaya Swan bestens bedient. Tony Gaffney! Ja, yeah, uh, you know, die Fans lieben den Alley Hoop. Uh, sie lieben ihn mehr, wenn Jared Jordan es macht, aber. Am Ende gewann das Team International mit fünf Punkten Vorsprung und allen Beteiligten sah man die Freude über eine gelungene Veranstaltung an. Uh, it was a blast. I'm just glad the uh, fans seemed to enjoy it. Uh, we, I played with a great group of guys and we won. Für das Schlussbild versammelten sich noch einmal alle um den verdienten MVP dieser Partie, John Bryant. Der sympathische Center von Ratio Farm Ulm 
scorete 23 Punkte und holte 9 Rebounds. Eine Frage blieb noch zu klären. Gab es eigentlich den versprochenen Skyhook für Chris Ensminger? I didn't get a chance to do it for Chris, the little, the little skyhook. But next game against the Hungary, Hungarian team, I'm breaking out the skyhook. Autogrammstunde, Dunking Contest und All-Star Game. Hat man da überhaupt noch genug Kraft, um auf die All-Star Party zu gehen? Well, I also had to do the captain's meeting because my dear, dear teammate is sick back home, so I had to fill in for him. Uh, love you, Chris. And uh, so, yeah, it's been a very long day. I haven't eaten a whole lot, so I'm looking forward to getting a nice meal right now. Uh, maybe sign a few more autographs, give away my sneakers, and get ready to go party.